Hi, today we are going to discuss the topic is convert lead through Apex. Before we are going to have a uh, session, let's have a great, a great quote from great personality. One is never afraid of the unknown. One is afraid of the known coming to an end. Now let's start our session. To convert a lead, to convert a lead from Apex, you have to use the method called convert lead, which is part of database class. So usually you can convert a lead from user interface also. While you are converting a lead, you have the option to create a, a brand new account and contact and opportunity based on the lead information. Or otherwise, you can select the existing account or existing contact or existing opportunity while creating the lead. Like that, you have the option uh, or you have the possibility to create a lead or to convert the lead from Apex also. Okay, how we can do with the help of database that convert lead. That's what we are going to discuss. So with the help of convert lead, you can convert lead into, you can convert existing lead into account and contact and opportunity. Along with that, you have different methods to support you to set uh, existing account ID or existing contact ID or existing opportunity ID for converting the lead. And when converting leads, we have to remember one thing. Leads can be owned by Q also, but accounts and contacts can't be owned by Q. That's why before converting the lead, okay, you have to set the owner ID in the code. Then you can uh, convert the lead successfully. Then the owner you set up as a user, user ID, that becomes, that user becomes a owner of account and account contact and opportunity. So let's see everything practically here. So first, let's create a uh, lead and then try to convert and then see what happens okay so now if you see here first thing is i am going to create a lead okay and here contact test lead is the last name company yes a tech book and uh, sales force tech book and co okay and then create now Let's see, can lead, you can see that. See, test lead came and company named this. Now let's open this. Now we are going to start converting the lead. So for that, what we have to do basically, first thing is we have to create an instance uh, or we have to create an object for lead convert class. And then you have different methods to set lead ID, to set existing opportunity ID or account ID. Okay, you have different methods. Along with that, you have to get the converted status from lead status object. Okay, it comes based on the uh, field value, lead status field value you define for converted status. Okay, yeah. So in our case, we have closed converted. Anyway, now let's do this. First thing is, what we have to do here, let's go here. And what is the lead ID? We have to copy from here. Shit. Okay, this one. Here, let's give lead ID. So now I'm selecting the converted status and I'm creating, I'm preparing, or uh, I created an object for, for lead convert class and set lead ID and then what else we have set converted status see for set converted status, this is a part of this method is part of this LC instance this is lead convert instance or lead convert bomb check and then you are setting the converted status then you are trying to 
convert the lead with the help of convert lead okay you have to pass this lc instance that is lead convert instance simply and then see so if you want to know whether it is success or not you can okay you have uh, e success or something yeah e success correct e success method you can or uh, let's do like this lcr dot e success now let's see what is going to happen so by this time it is already converted okay so let's see loading load it so meanwhile let's go to our lead and it is running already i'm just refreshing the lead test lead see it's already converted to contact contact name is test lead and account also created and linked also as uh, per lead conversion for standard lead conversion process only the difference is we are doing with we are doing with convert lead database method through apex and now opportunity also created along with that what else created account created lead created right this is how you can uh, convert a lead into brand new account and contact and opportunity but if you want to set uh, existing account and existing contact and existing opportunity or existing account and existing contact for lead conversion process and stop creating the stop creating opportunity how you can do that okay let's do that uh, let me take or let me create one uh, one lead here uh hmm okay and sales post textbook okay now i have created a uh lead call pravalika now let's see whether we uh, if we have any uh, account with salesforce textbook mm -hmm. yes uh, do we have any yeah we have Okay. Otherwise, if we don't have, let's create simply. Let's create a company called Salesforce Textbook. That means account. Okay. Right now, I created. So now I have a, a existing account. Okay. And there is a there is a trigger. That's why it is created a contact. It's okay. You can ignore this. And now I have an account, existing account that is Salesforce Textbook, and I have uh, created uh, a lead uh, called Pravalika, and we, uh, she came from Salesforce Textbook. Now I already have a Salesforce Textbook information in my Salesforce account, a uh, Salesforce instance, right? Now I don't want to create a new account as I already have a account. How I can avoid creating the new account while uh, lead conversion process? That's what we have to know. So simply. Open this. And now, first thing is, let's take this code simply. And here, let's pass Pravalika record ID. That is, lead record ID. Okay. Along with that, you are getting the lead converter status and then what else you have to do to 
set the existing account id simple thing set account id this is what this is the method you have to use what is the account id this one just take it so in real time you may get uh, you will get uh, dynamically you have to pass here simply only the difference is you are going to get dynamically and then if you have any contact also you can set contact like that but we don't have travel like contact we can go with that okay and i don't want to create the um, i want to stop the creation of opportunity how i can stop okay let's go with this uh, here you have a different method i have already uh, let me open this okay we have different methods for l3 to do that and here set do not up create opportunity this is the method you have to use simply okay see here you pass true and then what is going to happen it is going to stop creating the opportunity it creates the contact but it takes the existing account now okay with this conversion process let's do what is going to happen let's go back and reload pravalika lead it automatically converts to okay it automatically converts to contact and it took existing account okay and along with that it stopped creating the opportunity no opportunity created okay this is how you can uh, convert the lead into account and contact and opportunity and you can take the existing account or existing contact and you can stop creation of opportunity also uh, with the help of different methods from from method under lead convert class okay and now if you want to see um converted lead information you can see from the report okay and uh, you can query also from here select id from contact no not from contact lead where is converted equals true see you got this so if you want to get the last name along with that converted account id that means which account is created from uh, this converted lead converted uh, contact id converted opportunity id so what is the use of this basically you will get to know it okay so what is the use of this basically you may have the functionality set to achieve the functionality when a lead is converted i want to do some operations on account or something whatever it may be then this query will be useful okay you always need to remember this point so to get the converted account id converted uh, contact id converted opportunity id once lead is converted then you can follow this one these fields are available for getting the converted account id converted contact id converted opportunity id from the converted lead and in fact you can go through the reports also if you want to i mean so that is for coding if you want to get the converted leads okay you can prepare a um, report okay with the filter is converted then you can easily see the converted leads okay if you don't know reports and dashboards you have a, a sessions from salesforce like this you can create okay that's how we can work with convert lead functionality okay convert lead it is also part of dml operations okay and this is only contains database uh, this is only uh, available in database class okay not like normal dml operation and along with that what we have to know so we have few considerations okay so here field mapping the system automatically maps standard lead fields to standard account and contact and opportunity fields when you are doing the conversion through apex 
okay but from custom lead fields and your salesforce administrator can specify how they map to custom account contact and opportunity that means what is the mean what it means usually uh, when we have custom fields our system administrator will map the lead uh, will map the fields between lead and account and contact and opportunity okay under the lead mapping based on that it works automatically you don't need to do anything through coding okay you just need to follow the process what we explained now merged fields okay if data is merged to an existing account and contact object as we did just now only empty fields in the target object are overridden okay that means if they are empty fields in the account and contact those fields will be overridden based on your lead mapping otherwise it won't be overridden what it means so if you have any empty field on account existing account and contact okay and you have data in lead which are mapped to account and contact in lead mapping then it is going to those data will be populated into account and contact if those fields are empty in account existing account and existing contact otherwise nothing will happen okay and if the organization uses record types the default record type of the new owner is assigned to records created during lead conversion so what it means what i mean uh, the record type whatever the acts i mean uh, the record type which is accessible to owner or user okay becomes a record type of lead conversion process that means becomes a record type of accounts and contacts and uh, um, opportunity what it means if you have a different record types on account and contact and opportunity on lead also so the default record type comes from the record type which is accessible to the owner of your record simply pick list values the system assigns a default pick list values for the account and contact and opportunity when mapping any standard pick list fields that are blank okay and if you are using the pick list uh, i mean record types and controlling the pick list values it overrides with the help of or based on record type that is the meaning of it and automatic feed subscription when a convert lead into account when we convert a lead into account and contact and opportunity what is going to happen the lead owner is going to unsubscribed from the lead record status sheet so the lead owner the owner of the generated record and users okay what uh, that were subscribed to the lead are and automatically subscribed to the generated record that means basically once uh, they un unsubscribe from the lead record status sheet once lead is converted okay they are not to, uh, they are not going to subscribe to converted account converted opportunity and contact automatically okay so unless i um, to do that to make it possible what we have to do basically so we have to uh, set up or we have to enable some chatter feed settings for users okay that's how we can do that unless they have automatic subscription enabled in their chatter feed setting they have to enable that option then only they can automatically subscribe to the converted account converted contact converted opportunity once the lead is converted okay this is how it will be useful for creating or for converting the lead into account and contact and opportunity with the help of lead convert okay convert lead method so these are all the references you can have a uh, these reference links under the video description all the best please subscribe to salesforce tech book